हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन सी एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ चैप्टर वन नेम इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स सो आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई डू ऑर्गेनिजम्स टेक फूड आंसर इज लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ईट फूड टू गेट एनर्जी व्हिच इज इसेंशियल फॉर परफॉर्मिंग ग्रोथ एंड मेंटेनेंस फॉर द लाइफ सो आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन अ पैरासाइट एंड अ सेप्रोट्रॉफ सो दैट सेप्रोट्रॉफ्स आर the organism that take their nutrients from the dead or decaying organic matter example is fungi and parasites are the organisms that take their nutrients from other living organisms example is cascuta so our next question is how would you test the presence of starch in leaves answer will be iodine solution is used to test leaves for the presence of starch in order to perform this test one needs to heat the plant leaf in boiling water for 30 seconds to 1 minute and after that heat in boiling ethanol for a few minutes wash with water and spread onto a white tile and add a few drops of iodine solution the parts of the leaf that contain starch will change its color blue to black question number 4 give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants answer is photo means light and synthesize means to combine Photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their food. In this process, green pigment in plants known as chlorophyll helps leaves to capture the energy of the sunlight. This energy is used to synthesize or prepare food from carbon dioxide and water. Question number 5. Show with the help of a sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food. Now the answer is solar energy is taken by green plants. green plants eaten by herbivores and herbivores are eaten by carnivorous animals and all three of them were decomposed by decomposers question number 6 is fill in the blanks green plants are called dash since they synthesize their own food answer is autotrophs the food synthesized by plants is stored as answer is starch in photosynthesis solar energy is absorbed by the pigment called chlorophyll and next is during photosynthesis plants take in dash and release dash gas so the answer will be carbon dioxide and oxygen question number 7 name the following first is a parasitic plant with yellow slender and branch stem the name of the plant is cascuta second is a plant that is partially autotrophic answer will be pitcher plant the pores through which leaves exchange gases so the pores which through which the leaves exchange their gases are stomatas question number 8 take the correct option first is cascuta is an example of autotroph parasite saprotroph or host answer is parasite second the plant which traps and feeds on insects is cascuta china rose pitcher plant or rose so the answer will be pitcher plant question number 9 match the items given in column 1 with those in column 2 Column 1 chlorophyll nitrogen cascuta animals and insects column 2 rhizobium heterotrophs pitcher plant leaf and parasite answer is chlorophyll is present in leaf nitrogen gives by bacteria amarbale is a parasite animals are heterotrophs and insects eating plant is the pitcher plant question number 10 true or false first is carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis so the answer is false plants which synthesize their food are called saprotrophs this is false the product of photosynthesis is not a protein this is true and last is solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis so this is true question number 11 is choose the correct option from the following which part of plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis so options are root hair stomata leaf veins or petals so the answer is stomata now question number 12 again choose the correct option from the following plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their roots stems flower or leaves so the answer will be leaves now the last question is question number 13 
Why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large green houses? What are the advantages to the farmers? So the answer is many farmers grow fruits and vegetables inside large green houses because it protects from blowing wind, rodent birds, etc. The greenhouse have several advantages. It provides optimum sunlight, temperature and water to the crop and it also protects from the harsh climatic conditions and due to it farmers get maximum output thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe